As nurses working in long-term care, our job is to advocate for our residents, making sure their needs are met and they receive the best possible care. We work great as a team. We really, really are a family. We see each other more than we do see our own families. But the work we do is getting harder each day. Funding cuts at the state and federal level, workforce shortages, and aging seniors with increased medical needs are just a few of the challenges facing skilled nursing facilities today. And so with budget cuts, if it's going to cut back on my staff, and we're getting patients who are more sick and require more skilled care, uh, more IVs, more G-tubes, trachs. We're getting all kinds of things that maybe 10, 15 years ago, the long-term care world didn't see. As nurses, the same passion and skill we bring to our residents can be used to help make a difference in Florida's capital when legislators are making decisions that affect the work we do back home. Our residents can't get the quantity or quality of care they need unless we all work together to strengthen the profession. A lot of us got into the field, you know, um, to, to not only take care of them, but to actually know them, you know, as people. You know, they're not just, they're not just a number or just a, you know, a, a patient. They're, they're people and they deserve to have that time spent, that personal get-to-know-each-other time. The work we do is incredibly important. And it's time for us to stand up and talk about it. Last year, over 500 long-term care professionals, including nurses at all stages in their career, traveled to Tallahassee to take part in FHCA's Lobby Wednesdays. These passionate advocates took action on behalf of other nurses and their residents and made a difference, too. We're here to um, ensure that there's no further funding cuts. If there's funding cuts, that means that we would have to cut our staffing, and if we cut staffing, the residents may not get the care that they really deserve. They met with their local legislators, shared their stories, and ultimately helped protect vital Medicaid funding, and changed the law to remove some unnecessary paperwork that took time away from resident care. This is the nursing home bill we discussed yesterday, which will allow us to spend more time with the residents and less time doing paperwork. Okay. I think it was a really good opportunity to come here today and express to uh, some of these politicians from the front line exactly what's going on and how these cuts can affect us, uh, the patients that we take care of, and possibly their parents. It's great that the uh, Florida Healthcare Association folks are up here, especially from our home district where we get to see the folks and uh, there'll be a day when I'm going to probably be there uh, in the healthcare facility that they have. But it was really a pleasure to see them and uh, we got to talk a little bit about uh, uh, history and the process up here and how to make things happen. Next session, we hope you will join us. In the coming months, legislators will visit our FHCA member facilities across Florida. As nurses, this is our time to step forward, to talk about our contributions and the significance of what we do. Help us educate these legislators so they're better informed when decisions are made. Whether you get involved by coming to Tallahassee or doing your part back home, it's time to take our advocacy beyond the resident's bedside. It's time we spoke up for our profession. Become an advocate with Florida Healthcare Association. Visit our website at www.fhca.org and click on the Advocacy section to learn more about how you can become involved today.